Thousands of people converged on Las Vegas as the world's largest technology showcase opened to the public. It brought together the leaders of the latest technological advancements and the makers of the products consumers will be buying in 2018. CES is the Consumer Electronics Show and this is pretty much the biggest event in the consumer tech calendar. It happens every January in Las Vegas and hundreds of thousands of people from all across the world attend. The show floor it just keeps getting bigger every single year. We have pretty much all of the main manufacturers here including Samsung, LG, Sony and many many more showing off a whole lot of brand new products that we're going to see throughout 2018. This year's Consumers Electronic Show sees Alphabet's Google take on Amazon's Alexa with its own voice control virtual assistant that will show up this year in new tablet-like devices designed by LG Electronics and Sony Corporation as a technology company seeks to challenge Amazon.com's dominance in a fledgling market. One of the unique applications with this is the flexibility of being able to control just about anything in your home as long as it's licensed through Google, which is a very unique process because to vacuum your floors when you're not home, to turn lights on or off, um, to check on your kids through cameras, either through your phone or your TV. What we currently have in our TV is the flexibility of, of being able to, to give it commands. The big trends are in voice assistance and artificial intelligence. So think Amazon Alexa, the Google Assistant, Samsung has their own virtual assistant called Bixby and LG does too called ThinQ. Now these assistants, you can pretty much do a whole bunch of things with. They're found in a bunch of different devices across the home. We're talking smart speakers. But this year we're also seeing them in televisions. We're seeing them in fridges. Dubbed smart displays by Google, the new devices introduce tablet-like screens to speakers that can obey oral commands to perform tasks like playing music, dimming lights, locking doors and setting alarms. JBL and Lenovo Group are also developing smart displays. Google and Amazon traditionally haven't been at the show in terms of having like a big presence here in terms of a booth, but they've always had some sort of presence in other people's products. This year is a very big year for Google. They've actually got their own standalone booth. They're showing off a bunch of different products. They've entered a brand new category area themselves. So they're taking on Amazon directly. Amazon kick-started the market for smart speakers in 2014 with its Echo device, which included the Alexa virtual assistant. The company added the screen for the first time in June, calling the device the Echo Show. Neither Apple Siri nor, nor Microsoft's Cortana are currently available on the speaker for the tablet-like display. The new Google Assistant gadgets were unveiled at the CES trade show in Las Vegas to mark the first challenge to Amazon's Echo Show and the smaller Echo Spot, which also has a display. Other highlights at CES include drones and robots, especially a group of window cleaning robots. A smart suitcase developed by Beijing-based Renaissance Robotics is capable of autonomous following, hands-free control and precise movement abilities just from a simple gesture by the user. Reports indicate that using headphones in a noisy environment is bad to the ears. But with the help of virtual headset, an individual can now create a separate zone around the ears without causing any damage. created this virtual headphone. And what we have here is a sensor that actually captures your face and automatically sees your ears. And then those special speakers of ours, special technology, will beam the sound to your ears in a dynamic manner. So if you move left, right, it will track you. But other people cannot hear it. And other people will not be able to hear it. It creates kind of an individual zone around your ears. A French company has come up with the world's first hip airbag for the elderly individuals, which can help reduce the impact during a fall by 90%. Yeah, not really, because after you can reuse it, like you just have to uh, replace the cartridge and to, uh, to roll, roll on the airbag inside the pocket to reuse it. This year's CES focuses more on artificial intelligence. Robots, smart voice boxes and self-driven cars will continue to lead the trend. 
Smart cities, sports and electronic physiotherapy will be some other highlights. So many different areas that CES now encompasses. It's not just electronics anymore, it's consumer uh, technology. And uh, the show is now focusing more on how technology is changing lives and improving lives. And that's what's most exciting about CES. Over 20,000 Cutternet Smart Electronic products shine at the world's largest consumer electronics show. According to the Consumer Technology Association that owns and produces the CES, about 4,000 companies from 150 countries and regions were present at this year's event and around 200,000 visitors attended.